Lamiums or dead nettles are terrific ground covering plants for a partially shaded site. I just love the way varieties like this one that's called Purple Dragon has all of these silvery leaves that reflect light and help to brighten up dull drab areas. Making a carpet that spreads no higher than 8 or 9 inches high and goes out over the ground, it's a wonderful way to add that little bit of extra colour and help to set off other plants in the garden like ferns and hostas and the stilbies and all the other plants that you're likely to be growing in a bed or a border. What's nice about them too is that they're very hardy. This is its own poor plant and also they'll grow on a wide variety of soils. In fact almost everything except for really soaking wet conditions. So hardy, reliable, easy to grow, slightly aromatic if you touch it, and therefore deer normally don't bother with it too much. And this particular variety, which is called Purple Dragon, also has these gorgeous large purplish pink flowers that it carries prominently at the ends of some of the shoots. What's interesting about this variety is that it's one of the largest flowered of all the purple types and it turned up as a sport in a nursery in Michigan. Jean Van Sanden found it and then took cuttings of it. He found it on a variety that occurred in England called White Nancy and noticed that this had this very dramatic flower on it and so that was the start of this lovely variety which he named Purple Dragon. So hardy, easy to grow, perfect for growing in a partially shaded site they will also grow in a little bit more shadier conditions, but you'll find that then they'll tend to be a bit more open and a bit taller and a bit looser in its habit. What's neat about it is that if they ever do get a little bit too rank for you or spread out a little bit too much, it's very easy to go in and just trim back all that foliage and make them start over again from the base of the crown. This is Lamium purple dragon.